Thank you for watching the making of Leicester Academy of Magic, the book of times to come. This interdisciplinary project is a culmination of a year's worth of work and collaboration from over 200 staff, students, and community members from Leicester Middle School, located in Leicester, Massachusetts. Numerous hours of planning and scheduling took place before filming began. A formal casting call went out to the students, the cast was chosen, and rehearsals followed. A movie set was constructed in the back of the gym that could be transformed into various classroom scenes. Art teacher Laura Dusty had some of her classes paint the set. Here's an example of the set once it was decorated for a specific classroom scene. The art club was responsible for much of the visual creativity in the movie. One student even created stained glass windows for the set, inspired by the script. The art club was challenged with creating coat of arms for each of the four houses. The winners of the design challenge won a chance to be a moving painting in the film. The designs were arranged to form the school coat of arms that we made into patches to put on our robes. Students also created shields to hang in the house dormitories. Art club members even created numerous wands for us to use throughout the movie. Music teacher Christina Looney had the school bands and chorus learn and perform music from the Harry Potter soundtrack, which is featured in this video, along with other pieces, to make up a large portion of the music in the film. High school sophomore Elizabeth Blaze Bennett wrote a piece of music specifically for the movie that the middle school band performed. Many staff members contributed to the film by taking on acting roles. Whether they were ghosts, talking paintings, elves, or professors, the film wouldn't have been possible without their willingness to give up their time and talents to make the film come to life. Retired teachers came back to the school to film, and our administrators hopped in for their cameos as well. Community businesses and organizations, like the Castle Restaurant in Leicester, Mass., opened up their buildings so we could take advantage of their unique atmospheres. They accommodated over 80 students and staff members for our first day of filming. Professor Dusty scene today, how yeah. do you feel? You ready? Uh, I hope so. Yeah. Do you have your lines memorized? Uh, yeah, I Got do. Got your script there? Yeah. Okay. What are you looking forward to about today? Uh, that I get to speak this time. The young man with the camera is high school junior Devin Buckowich, who single-handedly filmed, edited, and created the special effects for the movie. His skill and dedication is simply incomparable. Without his expertise, this film would not have been possible. We shot many scenes at the First Congregational Church of Leicester. They were incredibly generous, opening the church for us on various occasions so we could complete filming. Our main four 8th grade student actors were filled with talent and personality that shines throughout the film. There you are! You're supposed to be in my class right now! For the Professor to Pace scenes, we wanted to go with the steampunk theme. We found items at the Leicester Recycling Center and spray painted them with metallic colors. We built gears out of items we found at FlexCon, a factory in Spencer, Mass., and Mr. DePace and a few of his STEM students constructed a wall of gears that was operated by robotics. Fishing string came in handy throughout the film for various special effects. Here is another example of the school set redecorated and shot from a different angle to give the illusion of a new space. In this shot, Devin uses the reverse motion effect, making it appear like students are sending the papers to the front of the room. That was a good one. Retired teacher Dick Cody played Professor Kodor, the headmaster of the school. Past headmasters give Kodor guidance when he needs it. The Leicester Public Library opened their temporary location so we could film a scene with the Nelson Tooth House. Much like Ravenclaw's, Nelson Tooth students would love nothing more than to live in an actual library. We were incredibly fortunate that St. Joseph's Abbey in Spencer, Mass. 
opened up their secluded monastery so we could take advantage of their beautiful buildings and property. In the film, students arrive to this location via a portal. You can see how Devin created this effect here. Like when you get under here, you know what I mean? So you can save space. Anyway, whatever. Yeah, if I gotta do it like this. Yep. Okay. Ready? Devin set up shots in the audio throughout the film, as well as providing direction to the cast and crew. Professor Soha is the potions instructor in the film, and we redecorated the set to make it look like a smoky dungeon. Can you like try to open your eye really widely? <laughs> in the movie, the students create a fluff monk that when brought to life, makes pretty much the fluffiest bunny ever. The poor thing gets destroyed in the beast bot competition. The genius of James DePace brought this comical scene to life. He loaded up a bucket filled with fake fur and used a shop vac to create the effect. We used the gazebo in the Leicester Town Common for this flashback breakup scene. By incorporating so many locations around town, we wanted the end product to be a film the entire community could be proud of and enjoy. Teacher Tanya Lee Gallant-Smith helped us so much throughout this process, but especially in her scene as the magical creature's teacher. She brought her own pup, Luna, to be our magical assistant. Dinky's Reptiles and Auburn Mass donated their time to bring over 20 animals to the Leicester Town Common so students could interact with them, and makes for one of the most visually appealing scenes in the movie. Heading back to St. Joseph's Abbey in Spencer for a full day of filming was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Participating cast members had access to parts of the monastery that are not open to the public, including the library and scriptorium. Devin flew his drone over the monastery to get aerial shots. He used these as fill throughout the movie, creating the illusion that this is what the outside of the school looks like. We can avoid any accidents. Fishing line coming in handy again. Reverse motion effect and keyframing out to Pace's hand made this special effect very clean. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. There was definitely fun to be had on the sets. We filmed the final battle scene in the lower baseball field at the school. Devin used his drone to get some neat aerial views. One huge component of the film was using green screen footage of the ghost characters to be used in scenes like this. This was an incredible amount of work for Devin, who had to figure out what camera angles would make this look most realistic with the green screen footage we already compiled. He also took this beautiful bright day and made it look seriously disturbing. Characters spent a lot of time in front of the green screen. In fact, some characters never had to go to an actual set at all. We used Spidergate Cemetery as the backdrop for one of our green screen shots. This cemetery is actually rumored to be haunted. Devin took each green screen actor and had them turn in 1 8 intervals to make sure he had a shot of them in any angle he might need to pose them in when he layered it with shots from the sets. The Book of Times to Come is a book that helped its reader make the right decisions by showing them the consequences if they go down various paths. With this in mind, we wanted to make a book that would reveal new pictures as the story developed. Devin yes. took over the shoulder shots of the students looking through the book and superimposed animated illustrations on the book pages. We took photographs and used Keynote, Procreate, and After Effects to make these illustrations. After many months of hard work, Leicester Academy of Magic, The Book of Times to Come, premiered before a sold-out crowd. The band and chorus even put on a special performance for the audience beforehand. The arts truly came together collaboratively to make this movie happen. Thank you for watching and supporting Student Film.